Yeah, so good morning everyone. Um, I wanted to show you this really good website uh, because I think it might be useful for you this year um, in the course data structures. Uh, so here is the link of the website. Um, so I think it might be useful for you because uh, well, this website allows you to uh, visualize data structures and algorithms through animation. So what does it mean? Uh, so, so far, uh, you did study uh, different data structures. So, you know, for example, arrays, you know, linked lists and so on. But um, there are other data structures that um, you didn't study yet, right? So, you will study them this year. Um, so, for example, you have trees, you have, um, for example, graphs, you have, for example, hash tables and so on, right? And, uh, of course, if you want to understand data structures, um, I mean, those data structures, I think, it might be helpful for you to visualize them, right? Um, to see how they work, to see how can you add elements, how to delete elements and so on, right? Um, and uh, the same with, um, you know, we have data structures and we have uh, algorithms. So for example, when we talk about um, sorting, uh, I think sorting, you know, about um, bubble sort, right? Uh, but same thing, there are other types of sorting uh, approaches, right? And if you want to understand them, uh, it might be helpful to visualize them. So this website uh, allows you to visualize basically all of this, right? So we're going to take an example with this, with the, for example, sorting. Okay, so we have some information here. You can read them, right? Or you can just um, skip it because we want to see the execution, right? So we have, for example, array of integers, right? And uh, we can create, for example, another one with maybe random values like this, or we can set our own values like this here, right? So for example, if I put here 30, and then I'm gonna create the array, right? And at the top, we have different sorting um, approaches. For example, here you have bubble sort, you know it, right? Uh, you have, for example, selection sort and so on. So when you click on them, you will, um, you will select a different approach, right? So, for example, if I click on sort, then I'm going to watch how the, um, the sorting is, is made, right? So, uh, here you have the code. Um, I think it is in C or maybe C++, right? And, uh, yeah, so we have the execution. We can repeat it, and we can slow down the process like this here. Here we have a scroll bar like this. We can, you know, slow it and then repeat it, for example, like this. Um, yeah, and here, if you notice, the black part indicates which part of the code is executed, right? And you can see here what is happening when, uh, I mean, when running the, the, the sorting algorithm, right? And um, yeah, and we can, we can do something else. We can, yeah, we can repeat, for example, here. We can move until the end, like, to see the result and so on, right? And um, yeah, so it, you can do it with, for example, bubble sort. You can do it with, for example, selection sort. Um, I'm going to speed up the process a bit. And then I'm going to repeat it, sort like this, right? And you're going to see how it works, right? OK, so this helps you, of course, to understand how, how, how they are working, how, for example, sorting is, 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 uh, is running, right? And uh, yeah, so this is for sorting. As I, as I said, there are different types of sorting, right? You will and you will study some of them this year. And uh, okay, so if I go back here, and uh, I'm gonna show you, for example, linked list, right? Linked list, same thing. We have information here. We can skip them, and uh, we can yeah. So we have um, a linked list. We have some values here. And uh, same, we can, yeah, and we have at the top, we have linked list, we have stack, we have queue, uh, we have doubly linked list, because for this one, it's single linked list, right? And we have the queue, right? So I think you did study, for example, stack and queue and so on. And you can do different operations, same thing, you can, for example, create a linked list, uh, maybe with random values like this, or maybe, you know, uh, you can put your own values, right? I'm going to create, for example, linked list like this. Um, if I want to search for a specific element, let's suppose I'm going to search for 77, right? 77 like this. Okay, go. 
And then here is the part of the code. I think you know it, right? You know this part of the code. Um, we did study searching a linked list, right? So we have pointer, we have a node points at the top of, of at the head of the linked list, and then we move and so on until you find the element. So here we return the index of the element, and it's supposed to be two because this one is zero, one, and this one is two. Okay, so yeah, so we can do different things. We can, as I said, search, for example, we can, for example, insert. And so for insertion, you know, there are three types. You have, you can insert, for example, a node at the top or, you know, as the head of the linked list, uh, maybe a certain node as the tail of the linked list. And we have another option in the middle, right? So for example, I'm gonna, in the middle is this one. So I need to specify the, the value, right, of the node, and I need to specify the index, so the position. So let's suppose I'm gonna insert 80 in the index number two, so we'll be here, right, 80. 80 like this, right? So 80 points to the previous node, and the previous node points to 80 and so on, right? Uh, yeah, so you can do the same with, you know, insert, remove, you can do with stack, for example, um, create, uh, stack for example pick to get the value of uh, you know the, the top or the, the the value of the node um, in the head and so on right push to insert elements pop to um, remove elements and so on right same with queues same with you know the same for, for the rest so of course this website allows you, you know to to see how the, the, the how they are working exactly how for example the insertion how the sorting is, you know, is, is is running and so on, and you can do it with, uh, as I said, other things. For example, other data structures that you will study this year. So I'm gonna take a random example. For example, here binary research tree. So you will study them and so on. Okay, and of course, let's suppose, for example, I want to create, for example, okay, I'm I'm gonna insert a given value. For example, here 177. Here we have the part of the code, and I'm gonna see the execution. And it shows you what are the steps, right? So here, for example, it's 77, or um, 77 has been inserted. I did insert, insert 79. Okay, so this is to insert another node and so on. We can maybe remove and so on, right? So, um, yeah, so it's gonna be like this this year, right? So I think this uh, website might be helpful for you. Uh, let's suppose, for example, you are in the lecture and you didn't study like a given um, data structure and so on, and you want to understand it better, for example, you can go to this website, see the execution, and uh, see how it works exactly, okay? Uh, so there are different data structures and so on. You can explore it, this website in detail if you want, okay? So um, that's it. I hope this might, help be, this might be helpful for you, inshallah. So thank you for watching.